Tired of losing your tools in the mud or snow while making repairs on your rig? That was my last 10 millimeter socket. Or trying to cook on the dirty or uneven ground? No, not the coffee. There's got to be a better way. Introducing Orange Box Fabrication's rear door fold down personal storage device for FJ Cruisers. But wait, for an unlimited time only, we'll even throw in this free installation video. No need to pay additional charges. This can't be right. We've been seeing photos of these all over social media and have thought what a fantastic idea this is. It wasn't until we got our own that we realized just how cool they really are. All right, let's put this on. You guessed it. This panel has to come off. We've had it off before. It's pretty simple. So first you just pop off these two caps. Then you just take out these screws. Next, these things are on the window struts, need to be pried out. Okay, so start down here in the bottom corner with a plastic pry tool or a big screwdriver and just start lifting up. I know it sounds terrible, but it's just the clips releasing. Window needs to be open. Now we're going to mark the holes that we have to drill for the bolts that hold this on. We're going to first align it with these long bolts up here in the corners. And just make sure that's centered and make sure that it's the same amount on the top on both sides. And that looks good. Alright, then we'll just take a pencil and mark where the holes go. All right, let's drill some holes. All right, you'll notice that we have a few extra holes in ours. That's for uh, mounting a cargo net across our back window to keep our little beasties from jumping out and chasing squirrels. Now our new storage panel bolts onto this plastic panel with some really nice bolts and washers. Now you'll see on the back side here there's a few of the holes that come really close to one of these ribs on the panel where our nut and washer won't lay flat so we'll have to do a little trimming here. Now a uh, utility knife will take care of this just fine but we're going to use a nice sharp wood chisel or what we here at uh, Wanderlust Base Camp refer to as a screwdriver, uh, paint scripper, butter knife, butter knife. Uh, it's the original multi-tool. There. So there's this piece of foam that's in the way too. It's got to go. Can we at least clean the mud off first? Okay, we've got all our holes drilled. We did mount our cargo net on first. And now, we can bolt this on. But first, before, a little bit of advice, we've already been through this once. Before you put this on, take these long uh, spacers for these long bolts up here and put those in the hole first because you're not going to get them in later. Okay, the majority of the bolts are these. This little spacer, big washer, little washer, a nice uh, nice little button head machine bolt. That's a nice, nice little detail. And a nylon lock washer. First you want to put the spacer underneath there. Then the bolt and the little washer Go through that and through your hole in your interior panel, if I can find it. There it is. Big washer, nut on the back side. All 
Now before we can put the panel back on, we have to take these white, um, I don't know what you call them, it's what the, the bolt threads into, we have to take those out and replace with these little clips the orange box gives us. There's one on both sides. Then these just slip behind here. Making sure that this, the thread side is on the back side of this bracket. Alrighty then, let's put this on. Now we put these long bolts in. All right, now that it's mounted, we can take a closer look. These, all these slots are sized just right for uh, uh, what they call moly bags that uh, use one inch webbing to hang, or you can just use webbing with uh, Velcro and uh, weave it through there. And it has these holes drilled in it. So you can put a quarter inch bolt to hold on these um, grippy thing, quick, quick grips, that's what they're called. You can bolt them on there to hold all kinds of stuff. Another thing that I really like are these latches here. It's a little push button latch. I've already got that one released. That's cool, huh? These drop down ropes are cool too. And the color matches the lettering. They offer the biggest selection of powder coating colors and textures we've ever seen. And in an emergency, they can be unraveled and used to uh, make a tourniquet or tie up a car jacker. Tie up a car jacker or make a pair of snowshoes. Make a pair of snowshoes. The major attraction though, what sold us on it, is the available customization you can do on this thing to make it one of a kind. Starting with the obvious, our name at the top. Now you can do one tab, two tabs, or no tab at all. And we even got to choose the font. Now I've seen some photos where uh, people have a logo put on right here, um, or you can have that put on the back. That is cool. And there you go. Attractive and functional. The tray's not bad either. If this is your first time watching one of our videos and you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell if you want to be notified.